Hi, everyone. Um, this is Candace again, coming to you for our virtual spirit week this week. Today is superhero day, which I'm really excited about uh, because superheroes, why not? So the shirt I'm wearing today for superhero day, let's see if I can get it. Here we go. It is she Ra, but it says she read, huh? And she's reading a book. She's got glasses on and she's reading a book that says you have the power which I really like because I'm a big She-Ra fan of the old one when I was growing up and of the new ones. The new ones I think are better than the old one. Uh, so if you have not watched She-Ra, go ahead and watch it. But that is my superhero shirt for today is She-Ra. So if you're wearing a superhero outfit, uh, shirt, cosplay, whatever it is, uh, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I would love to see your superhero attire. So today I'm going to talk about some books that feature superheroes and hopefully you get some good recommendations out of this. So let's get started. The first book I'm going to recommend today is a book called Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. And this book is a, of course, a superhero book. These are all superhero books. So in this book, there's like a burst in the sky and it gives people superpowers. Um, so only some people get superpowers and those people are called epics. So the folks that get superpowers from this random burst in the sky uh, are called epics and they take over the world. These epics are not good people. They're superheroes who use their superpowers for bad. And so they kind of take over everything. There's this one particular epic called Steelheart who declares himself the emperor of Chicago and he is the worst. He's invincible. No one can do anything to him. And so he's, he's pretty bad. So Steelheart does some bad stuff. There's a group of regular humans without superpowers called the Reckoners, and they study the epics, they find their weaknesses, and then they assassinate them. So the whole premise of this book is very similar to The Boys, if you've ever watched that show. I think it's on Amazon. But the premise to this book is very similar to that, but this is young adult, so it's not going to have all of the violence and sex and things like that that the boys had so but the premise is very much the same superheroes are evil there's a group of humans that don't have superheroes that are working against the superheroes and the main character of this book is called david and steelheart kills his dad and he's really not happy about it so he joins up with the reckoners uh with of course revenge on his mind. So that is Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. If you like sort of the politics of superheroes and the idea that getting superpowers doesn't necessarily make us all good, uh, then this book is a good choice for you. So that's Steel Heart. It's the Reckoner series. So it's a trilogy, I believe. This is book one of that called Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. So check that one out. The next book I want to recommend is called Renegades by Marissa Meyer. And this book is also very uh, superhero-y. The Renegades are superheroes. They have defeated the villains and they brought peace and harmony to all the land. Uh, but of course, the villains aren't so happy about that. And there's two sides to every story, uh, which is what this book is mostly about. So the renegades uh, have done some not great things to the villains, of course, in order to defeat them. The main character in this book is Nova, and she is working for the villains, and she's got a good reason to hate the renegades, which I won't give away, but she hates them, and she's on a quest for vengeance, and she's working for the villains. So she sort of weaves her way in there. She meets this boy named Adrian, who is a renegade, and of course, Adrian falls in love with her. And so now we have Nova who is working for the villains and trying to get revenge. Um, and Adrian, who is a renegade. So there's a little bit of Romeo and Juliet opposite sides going on here. And she, Nova knows that this villain that she's working for will kill them both uh, if, if they find out. So this book is definitely about two sides to the same story, if you like that idea. Uh, this is also a series, so this is the first book in the in the series as well, and that is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. She also wrote a series called The Lunar Chronicles that was really popular. That one started with Cinder, 
um, and it was retold fairy tales. And that's a really popular series as well. So same author writing this, except this time it's superheroes instead of fairy tales. So very good. Check that one out. It's called Renegades by Marissa Meyer. The next book that I'm going to recommend um, is called Dreadnought Nemesis. This is also book one of a series. This one is written by April Daniels and also a really, really good book. Um, this one might be my favorite on the list. Um, so in this book, the main character, uh, her name is Danny, and she, her whole life has been trying to keep the secret that she's transgender. But then... <laughs> A superhero named Dreadnought literally falls out of the sky and dies in front of her. And as he's dying, he bestows all of his powers onto Danny. So she now has these superpowers from Dreadnought and these superpowers transform her into the body she's always known she 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 wants to be in and so now she's this woman with superpowers and you know of course as they say with great power comes great responsibility so now danny's trying to deal with this newfound these newfound powers and how to get control of them and and what to do about that she also has to navigate her dad who is convinced that he can cure her of her girlness or her womanhood. Um, so he wants to like cure her of being a girl. So she's dealing with that. Her best friend now is like, oh yeah, I want to date you, which is really weird. So she's trying to deal with that. And of course the superheroes um, are all like bickering over where, what to do with her and where she falls in the hierarchy. While all of this is going on, the person who killed Dreadnought who is a cyborg named Utopia of all things, uh, killed Dreadnought and she's still around and she's threatening destruction and she wants to destroy all of humanity. So while dealing with everything else, uh, Danny also has to get a handle on all of this and stop Utopia before humanity is destroyed. So that is the premise of Dreadnought. It's really good. So I highly recommend reading that one as well. Uh, the author of Dreadnought is April Daniels, also the first in a series. The next book I have for you is called Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee. Uh, this book is also pretty good as well. Of course, I'm recommending all of these, so I guess they're all pretty good, uh, according to me. Uh, but Not Your Sidekick is, is, really, is really good. It's about um, this world where superpowers are pretty common. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people have them. And there's this like nobody, she's in high school, her name is Jessica Tran, and she has superhero parents, but she doesn't have superpowers. And so she's just a regular person with superhero parents having to deal with that, can you imagine? Um, and she wants to beef up her college application. So she's looking for an internship and she gets this paid internship, but it turns out that it's for the town's worst, most heinous villain. So it's this regular human who has superhero parents who goes to work this internship with the local villain um, who is terrible and everyone hates the local villain. So uh, she also gets to work with her secret crush um, and she kind of thinks that her secret crush has some secrets of her own. So uh, her secret crush's name is Abby and there's like, you know, this budding attraction there. There's this mysterious person named M who is around, but never around at the same time as Abby. And so Jessica starts like wondering if there's something going on. And she really starts this internship just like as a fun way to spite her parents. Cause she's like, haha, I'm going to go work for a villain. But then of course she uncovers like a lot of other stuff while she's <laughs> working there. So that is a really good one too. I really like the title, not your sidekick. Um, because of course, Jessica Tran um, ends up doing a lot of things, even though she doesn't have superpowers. So it's, it's also really good. It's won a bunch of awards as well. So check that one out. Not your sidekick by CB Lee. The last book I have for you today is called Soon I Will Be Invincible, and this is by Austin Grossman. This book um, is told from two alternating points of view. So we have Dr. Impossible, who is, of course, an evil villain. He is a would-be world conqueror. He tried to take over the world, but he got caught, and now he's in jail. 
And the other point of view is this budding superhero cyborg named Fatal. And she used to work for this like NSA or she used to work for the NSA and she was fighting drug lords. But then she got recruited into this group called the New Champions, which is a superhero group. And so now she's like dealing with that. This book is definitely all like, you know, death rays and Zeta beams and alternate dimensions and stuff like that. So it doesn't explain the science. It's not sci-fi. It's definitely just like superheroes and you kind of have to just accept that these things are there. I feel like uh, the character of Dr. Impossible is very Dr. Horrible. If you know Dr. Horrible's sing-along, um, the, the character of Dr. Impossible is very much that. He just wants to take over and prove himself and, uh, and be the best villain that he can be. And this book generally is a weird parody of superheroes, um, but it is a YA book. So kind of think of like a YA young adult version of Watchmen. Um, so it's like a parody. It, it sort of makes fun of superheroes, but also takes it very seriously. So it has its moments of humor, um, but also like takes this whole thing seriously and it, and it approaches mental illness um, and things like that as well. So I feel like if you like Dr. Horrible's sing-along and you like uh, Watchmen, this is a good sort of combination of those things. Uh, it's weird, it's parody, but it's also kind of serious at the same time and uh, also good as far as superheroes go. So that those are my recommendations for superhero books. I will go over them one more time in case you missed the beginning. Uh, so the first one was Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. That is book one of the Reckoner series. We have Renegades by Marissa Meyer, also book one of a series. Dreadnought by April Daniels, also book one of a series. Uh, Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee, also book one of a series. Uh, if you see a pattern here, most of these are going to be series. And then the last one is called Soon I Will Be Invincible by Austin Grossman. All of these books, I think that you will enjoy and you can get all of them on our bookshop site. So we have uh, a site at bookshop.org. The, the main site is bookshop.org slash shop slash Tubby and Coos. And if you go there, the first thing at the top is our virtual spirit week recommendations. And all of these books are there. So go there, check out our Spirit Week recommendations. Show me your superhero stuff. I really want to see it. And today is the second and last day of our Spirit Week. So I'm kind of sad. I've had a lot of fun doing this with y'all. And so uh, tomorrow will be the last day of our virtual Spirit Week. And tomorrow is fancy day. So we're going to do formal Friday and drink tea and wear fancy clothes and I'm going to talk about great classic literature with you. So uh, go ahead and uh, tune in for that. I will tell you both my favorites uh, from the classics and my least favorites. So uh, we're just gonna talk about classics tomorrow and be fancy and drink tea and put our little fingers in the air. So uh, let definitely join me tomorrow for that. And I think that's it. So hopefully y'all enjoyed my superhero recommendations today and I will see y'all tomorrow at noon. Bye.